Hello Infiniteers! It has been a few days <laughs> because I got sidetracked with the launch of the Disney Infinity Archive project, but I am back in my Nautilus toy box and today I want to try to finish the build for the ship's engine room. And um, last time as I was looking at this there was something about it that wasn't quite right and I realized the uh, ladder here should be on the back side of this thing. And um, so I think what I'm going to do is push that pipe and the catwalk and things down that direction a little bit and make some room for that because if I put the ladder on the back side of this the camera is going to run up against this wall and be a problem. So let me do that first. If you are not aware, I started a new YouTube channel this week called the Disney Infinity Archive Project. And um, over the past few months, I've been working to locate and recover as many videos as I can from the original Disney Infinity YouTube channel, which of course no longer exists. And I have HD copies of all of the Toy Box TV episodes, official tutorials for all three versions of the game, trailers, documentaries, um, strategy videos, top five countdown videos, and a lot more. <laughs> and I've started posting that material on the new channel. So if you want to see what I've got, head over to the Disney Infinity Archive project and subscribe. I'll put a link to it in the video description and there's also a link near the bottom of my channel's homepage under the Disney Infinity Archives section. Of course, I'll still be producing new content for this channel as I'm able, but I want to make all of that archive material available for the community. And so I'll work on that in my spare time and it'll give me something to do over the next few months while my wife is recovering from her heart surgery. It's pretty easy to upload existing videos. I can do that while I'm sitting on the couch, but I won't have time to work on any new toy box designs. So at least this way you'll have some new things to watch, including some videos that I don't think anyone has seen in over seven years. I've got a lot of interesting things, so definitely head over to that channel if you get a chance. All right, let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks better to me. And now the ladder is not blocking our view of that vertical pipe. The proportions look right as far as from the distance of the ladder down to this point. And I like that. There's a little bit of extra room back over here that was not in the movie, but I think this works better. The camera definitely can get behind the player when they're going up and down that ladder. So that works good. And I can fill some of that empty space there with a few decorations when the time comes. So yeah, I think this looks a lot better. And it's just a matter of how far down to carry that uh, drive shaft. All right, let's go ahead and finish blocking in the uh, power compartment here. I'll need to switch my theme. Put that back to be the iron rivets. Uh, let's see, how far over do we have to go? <laughs> Should be getting close. There it is. Oh, I should have extended this floor first. <laughs> um, okay, let's do that. <clears throat> and then I'll style this. <laughs> 
I got ahead of myself. I forgot I had some extra floor I had to put in. Okay. Now this will form the wall behind here, so I don't think I need to necessarily put anything in this row along with this block. And I think I'd like to leave this a little bit open here. Because uh, I want to have the camera have room to maneuver in there. And for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and close off the end of this room. I'm thinking at some point I might build a little hatch with a path and a uh, flat short wall block and have a lever in here where you can pull it and have that open up and be able to see the glowing light behind it. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this the way it is. That's a little detail I can add later if I have memory for it. That's kind of the big question right now is whether or not I'm going to have memory to do everything I want to do because my memory meter, if you notice, is already half full. And we haven't even finished the ship yet, let alone build a little world to explore. So, I got to be careful. All right, so here is the engine compartment then, all closed in. And that looks pretty good. Okay, um, this block here... I'm not sure if I am liking that or not. I'm thinking it might be better to put these in here. But of course, a bunch of these are going to take up a lot of memory. But I think it's going to look better. It's going to look like you're at the bottom of the of the ship. All right, on the other side now, over here, I think I was thinking last time about maybe putting in a um, another power compartment over here, but I got to thinking that uh, there's a scene in the movie where they have to get a spare shaft to repair the drive shaft, and I thought maybe this is where they would store that. Is over on this side because it seemed like they went over this way to get that. So I thought, well, maybe this is where they would store their spare parts. And so that's what we're going to do. We will create a little storage area back here. And I think let's put in another floor surface. And I'll just apply that. There we go. Okay, so that will be our little storage area, and um, <coughs> let's come over here and grab some of these decorations. And we'll start filling in the engine room. Well, 
let's see. Don't want to duplicate everything too exactly here. Try to mix this up a little bit. Okay, and then <clears throat> put some of these storage crates in here. That's going to be too big. A lot of these others aren't really going to work. Well, I think that gives the idea, though. That's a storage area. All right, and then we'll duplicate these over on this side. How does that look? Not too bad. Um, let's come out of the editor now and just take a quick look at what we've got. I'm curious if these things, yeah, these are going to interfere with the camera. These should be okay on this side. These are going to be a problem. All right, so we'll take those back out. the other side here. It's a little tedious. <laughs> probably not, <coughs> excuse me, probably not making for an exciting video to watch either, but uh, still, it's kind of fun to see it starting to come together. All right, so I need to mirror on this side what I had over here. level. We had a couple of these in here. And then one more up here. 
Okay, and then gotta have a block in here <coughs> to plug that gap. Except that's hitting something. What is that hitting? Oh, the wall back there. Oh, I see. And we may have to put a vertical wall then on this side. Probably going to have the same problem over here. Yeah. This is how we'll plug the gap then. Okay, so that will be the outer hull on both sides and then for this vertical section we're going to end up putting in vertical walls along here as well and this will be true on both sides all the way down and that will enclose that in but we still need something here hmm I kind of hate to put another wall on that side but let's see if we put um, those up like that Is that hitting? That's hitting that angled block. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it sticking out the bottom of the, the bottom of the thing there. That guy. Which I guess we could move and put uh Put it back. That'll move it out of the way long enough to be able to put this in place. Oh no. Now that is weird. Why is it doing that? All right, let's come out of the editor and then go back in. There, now it's putting it at the right place. That was weird how that was kind of in the wrong location. All right, now what's it hitting? Hitting the window. All right, so we're gonna have to put in a couple of those. And it might actually be better. Hold on a minute. I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, so this is the diving chamber. <laughs> this is what happens when you start closing this thing. Can't quite see exactly what I'm looking at. Alright, let's uh, come out of the editor here. <coughs> Okay, so we got some extra wall blocks we got to put in over there. Here's our little storage area. That worked out nice. Got those blocks. Yeah. Okay, so that fills that in. 
All right, I'm thinking. Maybe what we want to do here is put a couple of these in. What does that look like? Gives kind of a nice vault, vaulted ceiling there. Um, hmm. It's a little high up though. Some over here. These are the two blocks I'm looking to take back out. <coughs> and let's try something else. Maybe this thing. Uh, maybe not. That's going to be too long. Oh, well, wait a minute. If we do that... I kind of like the look of that. That makes it look a little more interesting, doesn't it? Although, it's got to back up. To this point. Okay. I'm thinking we could even use these, maybe, down here. No, that's going to be too low. All right, well, we'll just leave it like that then, I guess. All right, now we still have a gap under there we got to fill. So if we take this, flip that around and drop it right there, that should plug that gap. And let's get back into the engine room. <laughs> okay, that adds a little bit of a curve to the ceiling, and I kind of like that. Not much I can do about that corner, though. With, uh the window blocks sticking in there, but I think that's okay. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. And it kind of looks like an engine room. That looks like the engine room. I like that. And then the power compartment. This looks good. Okay, now we just got to do something about that shaft. And how far down do we take this? <coughs> well, I'm thinking that maybe it should come down about this far. Okay. 
Since we already have that architecture built, we can bring it this way. And then close it off right here. Like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And we need one more floor section there for the hallway. I'll apply that. And let's see what we got. Whoa! <laughs> Left the camera in a weird state there, but... Alright, so we come into the engine room through that hallway. Got our ladder down here. Oh, we need to carry the pipe the rest of the way down. But that looks pretty good. And the power compartment. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's see if I can get my camera in here <laughs> to uh, select the rail slide. And then we gotta have a little section right there. And there we go. Kind of gives the illusion that that's going further than it really is. But it doesn't need to go too far. So I like that. And then we got our little storage area over here. And there we go. And that is it for the ship's engine room. Next time I'll finish building that long hallway and the rest of the lower deck. Until then, I want to thank you for watching. Before you go, please like and subscribe for more Disney Infinity builds like this, and be sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think of my recreation of the Nautilus engine room. That's all for me today. Take care.